He is actually a piece to a fountain. So he would spit water out because I see a hedgehog. He is $8.99. Okay. I don't know if Grandma McKinley painted that or she's inside of there. Oh, look. Look what's in that bag. Let's see what you are. Why do you have a little... Why do you have a little hump in the middle? I'm not even sure what to say about this rendition of The Last Supper. Well, hello there. Guess where I'm at? Mm. Goodwill! I am at Goodwill. I am uh, on the Goodwill on Tropicana. I don't normally tell you where I'm going and the reason for that is I do have a bit of a pattern. Uh, so I can tell you why I'm at this store because this is not in my regular pattern. I come here sporadically. So I will just say that. Um, but unfortunately, um, I, I do get I do get some creepy messages and some weird stuff and and so I work very very hard to protect my family from those who would wish my family harm and they're out there they're out there it's unbelievable but they're out there but here I am at the Tropicana Goodwill and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna see what I can find to resell in my live sales and on eBay and on whatnot all the different places that I sell so let's get in there. I see some cute Halloween stuff right from the window. Gotta go target for that. And uh, with that, let's get shop done. All right, first order of business is to pick out our lucky cart. I'm gonna go with this one. I actually switched carts because that one was not so great. So hopefully I switch to the one that is lucky. Oh, she's really dented in. Let's see. What is this fun little guy here? Yeah, he's just a little, little dancing skeleton. I got a Frankenstein. Ooh, $5.99, goodness. And $3.99. It was only $3 to begin with. <laughs> nope, nope, no can do on that. I see a cute cat thingamajog. Thingamajog, gosh. What kind of a word is that? It's a pure one. Oh, you're missing an ear. Cat is missing an ear. Well, goodness. Maybe we're not gonna find so much uh, cute Halloween. It's very hard to find cute Halloween. Easter Unlimited. I did find out that can be a, uh, a vintage brand. I don't know about those though. I am doing a couple of Halloween themed sales here coming up both on my live sales and over on whatnot so looking for a few more fun things to sell. I'm not so much into the creepy scary stuff. I'm more into the happy little hand-painted pumpkin-y stuff like this. Yeah yeah this this is more my cup of tea for $1.99 so we'll get that. And uh, fun little goofy stuff, but he's very, very cheaply made. All right, I don't see anything else here. Let's go hit the non-Halloween shelves of Mickey Nacky stuff. Those are coasters. I was going to see this guy. Oh, he's half of a bookend. He needs his other half. And then this is... A Matrushka Bank. Oh, it's a Target brand. Darn it. What is this back here? That is a very chipped plate. It is a Russian plate. All right. Well, is that how this trip is going to be? Is that how we're going to do it? Or are we going to find something cute like a little lady made out of shells? She's got uh, lots of glue showing. Probably had a few places glued back together. So we're gonna leave her. Let's 
see what else. What else is on these shelves? Yellowstone National Park. Come over this side. Make sure we're not missing anything special. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing on the first shelf. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's see what the uh, second shelf has to hold for us. That looks like Royal Copenhagen with the, uh, yeah, look, it is not a super high selling piece, but really nice uh, quality and good brand. And for $1.99, the price is right. We'll get that. Don't try to understand me. Just love me. Mm. Oh, goodness. What do we got here? We got, I don't know why he's open on the back like that and what his purpose would be. Cute little owl. I think I'm going to have several owls in my upcoming Halloween sales, just so it's not like all just Halloween. It's going to have things that can be, go along with Halloween. 1998. But it is four dollars. Hmm. All righty then. There is a cute boot tray, but I can tell it's that kind of paint that chips. If you look at funny, look at it funny. And then this fish caught my eye. He would be great out by a pond. He's super heavy. That's why I'm like not even able to budge him. Okay, I need both of my hands to figure out how much he is. He is actually a piece to a fountain, so he would spit water out. He was $25, but now he's $7.99. I think I'm gonna grab him and put him <laughs> out in my yard. I do have an area for a pond that I'm gonna try to get working again, so he might just be uh, part of my pond. As I was crawling off the floor here, I noticed this cool starfish made to hang on a wall looking for any damage $3.99 I'm grabbing him okay I don't know if grandma McKinley painted that or she's inside of there okay it's not heavy so I think she just painted it can we go with that <laughs> it's kind of pretty I kind of like I kind of like the paint job But I am going to leave that piece and check out this little, oh, it says Cancun. If I didn't say Cancun, I'd probably have picked that up. The little um, Aztec calendars can do quite well. But I tend to leave the things that are specific locations and that are gonna be, um, they're gonna have meaning to people, you know, who've been there and that was like a souvenir piece for them. Dear math, I am not a therapist. Solve your own problems. <laughs> I know there are people that like math, that do well with math. I am not one of them. Math is my nemesis. It really, really is. That's okay. I'll take my creative side. That is glass. Oh, unfortunately, very, very chipped. Otherwise that would have been a really pretty little piece. Yes, I see him. He's got... Why does he ha he's a squishmals? I don't under, oh, 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 is he squishy? He's a, why does he have a, why does he have a chip on his shell? We don't, we don't keep any turtles that have chips on their shell. You know, I'm just saying. No, he's a water, he's a water turtle. I can let him go. Look at this frog. He's not anything like super high quality, but he is sure fun for $4.99. We're gonna grab him. I see a sleeping cat here. Oh, he's very lightweight. I expected him to be heavier. Oh, look, look what's in that bag. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, he's got a broken tail. Oh man, they both have broken tails. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. But let's see, this one does not have a broken tail. And that one, that one is a uh, Royal Copenhagen. Little sparrow. Oh man, these poor little bluebirds. And this robin's nice, and he does not appear to be broken. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna rescue the bag of birds for $4.99. Ooh, I actually have the creamer that matches this. It's in Home Styles. Yep, there it is. It's actually on my shelf that I just put together. But now I could I could I could be tempted to sell it as a set. We'll see. Anyway, I love the bird. We're grabbing that. And then I spotted this guy. Now that I'm finding that there's some nice birds is his tail supposed to be like that or is it broken well i think it's got to be like that or he wouldn't sit or was he meant to like sit like this and his tail is broken what do you think is that i don't know 2.99 you know i'm gonna rescue him I see another starfish This one's nice quality. Looks like it would have come in a set. Look at it feels nice quality, but it was only two dollars. No, no, on principle, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's not vintage, it's not old. Oh my goodness, is this a Royal Copenhagen? Look at this. That's amazing. Yes, we will take that too. And I spotted this little painted wood. Just a little, little soldier. He's nice. I'm not, I'm not sure he's worth three bucks though. Him we will leave behind. See if there's anything cool in the clear glass. Nothing is really standing out. So that's a no. Hmm. Nope. I think that's it for these shelves. Oh wait, did I look here? I don't think I did. I see a hedgehog. He is $8.99. He is a cookie jar. He is again not very good quality. Yep, he came from Target. He was probably like $24.99 when he was new. So he's probably now only worth like 15 bucks. Maybe 12 to 15. Hmm. It's an interesting piece, but again, not super good quality. We're gonna leave it. I always look through the office supplies to see if there's anything we need for the office or anything that's vintage, like maybe, no, this is an old, an old pin the tail on the donkey would be cool, but that's not old. Old sign. I also look for sketchbooks for Rachel, things that she can, craft and paint with and then we've got the mishmash of wood items over here holy smokers look at these bears they are bookends there is a pair it's 490 is it 499 each of course it's 499 each let's see what they look like back to back okay let's move that over and let's see what these bears look like if oh see gotta look at everything He's got a big boo-boo, so we're going to leave him. We're going to leave him. Oh, he's missing a whole bunch of toenails. Intarsia. Intarsia. Gosh, I was trying to remember that in my last video, and I could not remember it to save my life. And that's what it is. I see a horse. He's kind of an interesting horse. He's not priced. I suspect they'll give me a good price up at the register, so... I'm gonna grab him. Got an elephant Ceylon. I see a pretty little wood candlestick. Let's see. Are you a match? You are a match. And I think you might be Myrtle Wood. $1.99 each, so it would be like $4 for the pair. I will take those. All right, now we are on the back side of the Halloween to see what else we can find. Where are you? Oh, 
confetti. Oh, now these are cool. Look at these coasters. Like the three, <laughs> what do you go? I don't know. The three musical coasters. Skeletons. I'm lost for words. But for $4.99, we're going to grab those. All right, cute little pumpkins. But nothing that exciting. So that's it. And let's see what we've got over here in the metals. Hmm. Always hard for me to look through the metals because it all kind of is the same color and blends together. I don't know. Anybody else have that problem? Like my eyes just have to really look hard. And sometimes I'm sure I miss things just because there's nothing that really screams at me when it's like metal color. <laughs> I'm a color, I'm a color kind of person. Do like me some bright colors. And then even when it's bright colors, it might not be good quality like that. Not good quality at all. We got little hooks, $2.99, that's a little much. Ooh, Froggy, you are super adorable. $3.99, he is like cast iron though. I like him, I like him. $3.99. We're getting them. And then there was this guy. Now, he is not super high quality, but uh, he is a quail and uh, he can go outdoors in my garden and I love him. So I will pay $4.99 for him. All right, now we're in the bathroom stuff. Let's see if there's anything exciting. Mm, don't see anything. Hmm. All the cooking stuff is just, wow. I just want to sit here and organize these shelves because they are, they're a mess. Ooh, you're missing your handle. But I had to look because you looked like you were a good quality pan. Uh, it's just a Paula Deen. Nothing that great. But wowza, that is... A lot of stuff on the shelves. Alright, looks like this could be interesting. I see... Oh my gosh, why do I keep running into these? Because <laughs> I guess everybody bought them. Ooh, that one's got some book on it. Cape Cod. Cobalt Blue. Nothing super exciting about that piece, though. Hmm. I just bought some of those Home Sweet Home succulents, so I don't need any more right now. Spongeware, made in China. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. That's just got a nice look to it. Look at the inside, the marbling. Oh, it's got an iridescent thing going on in there too. Do I need that? I don't think I need it though. I don't think I do and I definitely don't want to ship that, so. Cute little, what is that? It's got a name. Oh, it's a party light. Well, that's interesting. It would have come in a set. If it's party light and it's like that, it would have come in a set, for sure. Oh. I like these. Do I like them $5 worth? Mm, I think there's probably a bunch of flowers missing off of it, so I'm going to pass. Much as sometimes that pains me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be brave. Mm, let's see. I don't think there's anything going to go into our cart from this aisle. We will take a run down the plastics. This store does theirs all by color, which is nice. But we are looking for Disney. We are looking for vintage. We are looking for, you know, Starbucks tumblers, that kind of thing. And we are not finding a darn thing this time. All right. Oh my goodness, look, I found his friend. 
This one's a gobel. And this one is not broken. It's not it's not like a Leo Ward or anything, but he's a, he's a super nice bird nonetheless. So we'll get him and we'll get him. Oh, I had to skip a couple aisles. There was like people stopped in every single place I turned. So we'll come over here where there's no people. I like shopping with no people around. That is my preference. That is a pretty mug. Kent pottery. Does it have a oh it has a lid. It's a it's one of those little cups with a lid. It's $3.99. Alright, gotta get it. Let's see what we got up here. Nothing exciting. More coasters. Those are letter C coasters. Those are very well used coasters. Little salt and or pepper shaker. Oh, he's cute. What's your purpose? Are you just a little planter? What does it say? Succulent French bulldog. There you go. For $2.99. Hmm. Do I need it? I really don't need him. I really don't need him. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I know some of you are going, but I need him. Okay, I learned that they really make little butter um, dishes for like little half sticks of butter. Is that like not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? I I think I'm gonna grab it for $3.99 because I, I just like it. Let's see what you are. Why do you have a little, why do you have a little hump in the middle? I don't, not understanding your purpose in life. Little signed art pottery piece. Nothing too special though. And let's see, they get lots and lots of new in the box stuff here. I don't tend to really even look at that. That's not really my niche, but I do look at uh, turkeys with their tail is the little ladle for the terrine and uh, what were you 3.99 um yeah yeah you're going in the cart all right let's go through the glasses but here is a whole bag of shells now these these are pretty nice shells it's five dollars for the whole bag and i see some in there that could be used for my hermit crabs so i think i'll pick that up Let's see what else is in here. Shot glasses. You belong up here with the shot glasses. What do these say? Oh. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah, man, I picked that sucker up from over there and I went Oh, these look like Dorothy Thorpe. Roly polies, but they're very, very worn it looks like yeah look at the silver is all coming off unfortunately i am looking at these guys dollar 99 i like to pick these up for a dollar and i find enough of them that i can wait until i find them for a dollar i don't have to pick up every single one let's see anything else in here, what are you? You're $2.99. Something tells me I should pick you up because you're kind of fun. All right, we'll get you. Oh, they have a lot of mugs. A lot, a lot of mugs. That is very poor quality. That looks like Disney Cinderella. It's a small one though. I tend to do better with the large ones. Like, that's another Cinderella. Ah, oh, I will leave those. I will leave those for somebody else. Because I have so many coffee mugs right now. And I just finished my Disney sale. Oh, I just finished my Disney sale. And, um, uh, so I'll slowly start picking Disney stuff up again. Look at that. We've got a pair. We've got a pair. All right. We got the two two face mugs together let's see anything anybody see anything anything i'm missing 
let me know in the comments. Really, really appreciate your comments. They help the video get a little traction with the, with the whole YouTube algorithm kind of thing. A lot of people like to send me emails or message me in other places, but I really appreciate the comments being put down in the comments of the video just because that super duper helps. And I do, I read them all. I may not get to answer most of them, but I do read every single comment. That's when you see a little heart next to it. You know I've read your comment. I get a little behind sometimes, but I do spend time catching up because I love to see what you guys write. All right, I think we may not find any more mugs today, which is okay. It's okay. Look at the vinyl covered couch. Wowza. Lots of furniture in here, but it's all pretty dated and or pretty worn out. Pretty worn out. You know, I was looking for a little table like this, but I ended up buying one off of overstock.com because I got impatient. I just really want my house put together. And I do that sometimes. I get a little impatient. This is a folding magazine stand. Look at that. It is $12.99. That is kind of a sweet piece of furniture. Needs a little refinishing, but that is a great price at $12.99. But I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist. All right, let's look through the art a little bit. Let's see. I'm looking at the little stuff because that's the stuff I can really deal with right now. Uh, nothing's really standing out to me. I'll dig through here just a little bit. I almost feel bad when somebody's baby pictures end up in the Goodwill. Sometimes that happens because people get storage lockers and, you know, that's not like really something they can resell. So they end up donating it and then it gets put on the shelves here. All right. Nothing, nothing calling to me in the little art. I hope nothing calls to me in the big art. <laughs> I'm not even sure what to say about this rendition of The Last Supper. I, I, I have no words. Their lamp section is really, really full. I'm kind of drawn to these. Definitely vintage. Look at that plug. And they've got, I know it's got a little bit of damage, but look, it's got birds and fish. What? Try to see if there's a name under there. It's a double socket. Oh my goodness. That's kind of fascinating. There's two of them too. Like there is a pair, but I'm gonna resist. Ooh, I'm gonna get to a point here soon where I can start picking up lamps again. I'm super excited. I got, I got a big project brewing. Big project brewing. I'll share the details soon. But things are cooking in my world. I will share as soon as something is solid. All right, I am just perusing through like the draperies because I've actually been shopping for some drapes for the bedroom still. We have some up on the doors, but they're not the right length. We need really long ones, which I don't even know if I'd be able to tell any of the right length. I guess they're labeled, right? They have labels like this is pretty. Let's see, does the label say how long you are? Oh no, not if the label's all washed out. <laughs> so that's no good. I do like that color though. You know me, you know me in that color. Rachel would like this color. Rachel is into the greens. Let's see, let's see what you say on the tag. Do you say the length? Oh, of course not. You just say what you're made of. Hmm, what to do? What do you do? as I definitely don't want to pull these out and start measuring. I do always look through the pillowcases and pillow covers and look for anything that's high quality because boy, I do love shipping pillow covers. Let me tell you, one of the easiest thing in the world to ship. So I always look 
but rarely find anything that's worth picking up. I do sometimes find fun things back in the fabrics. Like sometimes a little mishmash of stuff gets put back here, so you have to look. You have to look. Oops. Don't worry. Pick that up. It's a oh, it's a black table runner. Hmm. Hmm. Only thinking because it is the time of year for decorating with black and orange and such things. It is pretty. Gosh, it is pretty. Okay, no, I don't need it. Don't need it. I just share how I wrestle with my brain sometimes, guys. You get to see it all. Look at this fabric. So I pick up fabric for Carrie because she can sell fabric in her booth and she does pretty good with fabric. This is 1985 Bunny Bunny Border. I wonder, it looks like there might be like a yard here. And it's only $2. It does look a little grungy though. Is it just me? It's a little grungy. And I, yeah, grungy's not going to sell. But then there is a little fox pot holder for 99 cents. <laughs> and he must come with me. All right, let's look and see if there's anything in the purses. I'll probably do another whatnot purse sale as soon as I have about 30 purses. So I never know when it's going to be. It just depends on the inventory that I am able to acquire and how fast that happens. Sometimes it's really quick, but then other times it takes a while. Oh, there's a little faux Louis Vuitton. And uh, whatever that's supposed to be. All right, nothing in the purses. All right, let's check through the toys. Never know what you're gonna find. Never know what you're gonna find. If anything at all. They still have tons of these Beanie Babies. They have been here for quite some time. And then lots of games, games, lawn darts, not the old version, this is the safe version. All right, nothing else here. Well, I think that's about it for us. Kind of a light cartload. Everything's like really small this time, which is so unlike me. I'm usually grabbing the big obnoxious stuff. But no, nope, here we go. We're going to check out. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on eBay. And then after that, I'll come back and uh, who knows what I'll pop on the end of this. So see you after the recap.
and that's a wrap. Wow. Um, I spent like 60 bucks for all that stuff. That was pretty incredible. I think I'm most excited about the fish fountain decoration. I could sell it. I could probably get at least 50 bucks for that fish spitter fountain thing. But I kind of love him too. I always get torn. Do you guys get torn? Let me know down in the comments. Do you, do you like find something that's a really good resale item and you know you can make good money off it, but then you're like, but I kind of love it and I would never spend that kind of money on myself for what it would go for full retail, but then you feel guilty keeping it. Like I struggle with this a lot. I really, I really do. And then I'm like, is it that I feel like I don't deserve nice things? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know, any psychologist out there can help me figure this out, why I have trouble keeping stuff for myself without guilt. I will feel guilty. And that's the, that's the piece that I'd really like to figure out. I'd really like to figure that out. Okay, I think I'm gonna throw a little bonus footage here at the end as well. You haven't seen a little tortoise update for a while and they are getting ready to take their long winter's nap. So, um, as of this moment, I haven't filmed it, of course, so I don't know what it's gonna be, but stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Come on, little car. Come on, you can do it. Oh. All right. Ah, well, this is happening today. Oh, my little my little juice box is uh is dead. <laughs> At least it's in the driveway. And um they sent a tow truck all the way from Pahrump, which is kind of crazy. It took an hour and a half to get here. But it's going to my trusted mechanics to get her all fixed up. Goodbye, little juice box. <laughs> Oh. You know, because there's nothing like taking your car for a ride on a nice uh, sunny day. Every once in a while, you know, they need, they need to have a little outing. Don't make them do all the work. Definitely a way to save on gas. <laughs> Here she goes. Okay. Bye bye, little juice box. We'll see you soon. There she goes. And now go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.